Now and again you get a little application that you've downloaded and installed or you've bought something which has an application that goes with it and it hijacks all your embroidery files all the formats. You don't want it to. I had to search and search to find a file that had an extension in it that I never use. And of course when you don't want one they're all over the place. When you do want one you can't find one. But I managed in the end to find one. It's an art file which is the Benina Software Artista and I want to right click on it. Thank you. Right click and tell it open with choose default program Embird Exec. Okay. Now if it doesn't come up there you've got it all other programs. If it does come up here say you've got Horizon Link and then Embird choose Embird. Okay. So we tell it we want that one we tick the box, always use the selected program to open this kind of file and we say OK and Embed Execs Do you want to allow the following program to make changes? Yes I do. This is a Windows 7. Oh, Windows Explorer has stopped working. It's now restarting. Right, start. Have I got it up here? No. Oh yes I have. Embird. There's my Embird. That's an awful design, isn't it? I can't believe I downloaded that. I'm going to have to go through some of my designs and get rid of them. OK. Now I'm going to go to Options. I'm going to look at Iconizer. I'm going to tell Iconizer I want Embird to open all my embroidery files apart from the ones that I want my <laughs> other programs to open. And I don't want any of the quilting programs so I don't touch those. I don't want it to open JPEGs. I don't know what that is. Don't open. Otherwise it will open all my photographs. I do want it to open Embed Editor file and I do want it to open an Embed color palette. So I leave those ticked. I don't want it to open those, so I get rid of those and we'll come up a bit further. I don't want it to open bitmaps. Right, I'm now looking for the art. And as this is uh, Genomi JPX, okay. I didn't think they had it in here. You want Genomi JPX to open with Embird not with HL. So I'm going to unclick that because I don't want it to open with Embird and I don't want my Jeff Plus to open with Embird because I've got the Janome software or the Janome Jeff or the Janome Jan. But you want the Jeff, the Jeff Plus and the JPX all to open in Embird. So you click them here. If you think I'm concentrating on the Jeff, well you're right. Um, <laughs> somebody asked me the question how do you stop it from opening size of size so now Benina Artista Art okay I want it to open in Embird so I don't just choose it as default I choose it in Iconizer Settings okay and that's all those sorted out anything you want to open in Embird click on them up here except for your image folders, image files. Don't click on your image files. It's pain in the neck. OK. I'll tell this. OK. Ah, wait a minute. I want info tips, columns, property sheets, images, thumbnails, icons. I do not want Total Commander. I do not want Google Desktop. OK. So that's that done. And it will run through and verify all the changes that I've made. Okay, now I go back to options. Associate extensions and I'm looking for art. Now open with is Embird. 
Okay, we just leave that be, and you'll see art is under open with. Embed is opening those. You only change them if you want something else to open it. Now I'm going to find if I can, and I don't think it's in here. Jan Jeff Jeff Plus. Yeah, they haven't got JPS in here. JPX rather, because if they had, you want it to have these little blips. If it's got a program like this, Genome, Customizer, um, Horizon Link, you don't want that. You double click on it and you say, no, I don't want that. And you have to change the path. Now changing the path isn't that easy. Um, let's go and find, have I got one? Oh, JPX, yeah, I've got mine associated with my Genome because I like my Genome. Let's go and change PEC, PEZ. Okay, new volume H. Nope, it'll be on my C drive. It'll be in program folders times 86 because most programs are still 32 bit. Um, and look for PE Design Brother. Here we go. Brother. PE Design Next. Emp Edit Exec. There we go. Open. And there it is. That will now open all my PEZ designs. And I would do a similar thing to stop Horizon Link from opening my Genome folders. You just go and you find out where Embird is. And you do exactly the same as I did. Double click to change the path. Go to your C drive, program folders. If you've got a Windows 7 64 bit, you have to go to program folders uh, 86, because that's your 32 bit folder. Find your Embird fo uh, folder, open it. And then open up the, hang on, I want my computer, my C drive, my program files, cancel, I don't want that one, I actually want program 64, program files, there we go, because I've got the 64 bit Embird, Embird 64, and I click on the exam. The Embird exec, and that will go into the line here, and your JPX will open with Embird. That's an awful long way around the bushes to explain something, isn't it? But you have to do all three places the Windows default the iconizer and the associate extensions and if your horizon link still insists on hijacking your folders and your files uninstall it you can write direct to your USB and if you've pre-formatted it in your embroidery machine you don't have to worry about creating the folders because the machine will have already done that and you can just send your design input output I suppose it would help if I put a USB in wouldn't it I'm not very bright sometimes I have to close this for a second right that's okay close that come back here we'll see if this can see it Yep, there it is. My iDrive. Anne Marie 5x7 Art. And I'm going to save it as a DST. OK. Yes. Yes. It's telling me it doesn't fit within the version dependent on. Uh, let's go to version 8. He's the safest. OK. OK, I'll choose a colour. Copper. OK. 
Operation completed successfully. Thank you. Close it. Close this program. Close this one. Go to H. Go and find my... Ah, oh, what's this? This is it. Right. Double click on that and it's opening in Embroid. And there it is. And I know I've said this before. You do it in Open With, choose Default Program Handler. Then you do it in Embroid's Iconizer. And then you do it in Options, Associate Extensions. And you double click on the format of the designs that you're trying to view in Embird and you don't want anything else to open and you go to your program files depending on which version of Embird you've got 64-bit or 32 you go to the right folder program folder for the 64-bit if you've got Win7 and times 86 if you've got 32-bit Windows 7 if you've got XP, you just go to Program program Folders. You find the Embird folder, you open it up, you find Embird Exec, you click on that, and that will appear in the ribbon for Associate Extensions. So all three places will have been told that Embird has got to open this, and if your program that's hijacking everything still insists on hijacking, then remove it, uninstall it. I had a copy of Stitch Era Universal and it hijacked every single embroidery format I had. And I had a devil of a job. It would not allow me to reset a default program. I had to uninstall the darn thing. I couldn't even open my other software because the moment I went to open my other software SEU would go, oh no you don't, this is my computer and it would open. So I do know there are programs which are a bit aggressive and can create problems but if you've got one of those uninstall it from your computer. Right, that's it. I've talked enough.